Hello everyone, this is Taylor Redrington with Roll Board Janglers in Canyon City, Colorado. Uh, the premier fly shop of the Southern Rockies as well as Orvis Norse Outfitter on over five watersheds. Uh, this uh, is the report for the Arkansas River uh, here in mid-October. Uh, we are seeing some things change a little bit. Uh, fish are definitely in that spawning mode right now. Uh, many fish are still pre-spawn. Uh, what that means to me is fish are still eating voraciously. Uh, honestly, uh, that will only increase as fish begin to spawn and finish spawning. Once uh, fish are done spawning, uh, fish uh, try to pack on weight for the winter and so we see that uh, activity only increase. So, uh, you know, fishing has been lights out here uh, for the last six months, it seems, uh, and it only seems to be getting better. It's almost a too good to be true uh, deal, but, uh, you know, uh, that's what we're, we're looking at. Uh, not only nymphing and streamer activity uh, are, are really good methods right now. Uh, also good dry fly fishing. We're experiencing good uh, midge hatches in the mid-morning uh, as well as good blooming olive activity whether it be emergers or uh, dries in the early to mid-afternoon. Sometimes even uh, you know great attractor fishing right at dusk. Uh, so dry fly fishing is still high on the hog right now. Uh, and, uh, you know, honestly, there's a few patterns that I like. Uh, what I'm suggesting for people uh, as far as dry fly fishing goes, because the light is a little different um, here um, as we get into the late fall uh, and early winter, uh, it seems like the light is much lower. Uh, so it makes it a little more difficult for people to focus on uh, small dries on the water. A uh, little more glare on the water as well. What I suggest is you throw something um, a little bit bigger uh, with a white uh, Visa wing. Um, one of my favorites is Jaeger's 409 in red. Red's a great color right now, uh, and uh, you know that's a tan body with the white wing. Uh, you can see that from a mile away, size 14. Um, just throwing something like this, um, you know, another pattern um, is the uh, Never Sink Trude uh, with the white wing, uh, foam uh, wing, as well as the white Visa wing on top. Uh, another great pattern to, to throw on top uh, with a double dry rig is, is just a standard uh, one that we've been fishing for a long time on the Arkansas, the Red October just a red stimulator, um, you know, uh, great, great three patterns to focus on on top. It gives you that visibility uh, to know where your rig is at all times as well. Um, you know, fish will definitely uh, crush it from time to time. What I'm throwing underneath are a variety of blue-winged olive and midge adults. Uh, uh, as well as emergers. Uh, number one, just the standard Adams in a size 18 seems to be fishing great for not only a midge but also a blue winged olive. Uh, standard Adams is just an excellent pattern. Um, as far as the midge activity goes, the best adult we carry is one of Larry Kingry's patterns, the Arkansas midge, specifically tied for this river size 18. Another great uh, pattern for bluing olive activity that um, you know kind of sits uh, low in the water, kind of half emerger, half dry is is the almost done uh, bluing olive has a little pair of posts on it. Uh, great, excellent pattern um, for this river. And then um, lastly, another really good pattern that I suggest um, for bluing olive activity is the sprout betas and it, they're jumping right out of my my uh, tweezers this morning but uh, you know um, the sprout betas is just an excellent 
um, rendition of uh, you know several bluing patterns and uh, definite breadwinner uh, for for that bottom dropper. Usually run that uh, top fly on nine foot five x liter and then drop that bottom fly probably six x mono underneath uh, about you know twelve to fourteen inches under your top dry. So that double dry rig is is very productive right now. As far as nymphing goes, uh, you can use any number one of, uh, number of those uh, attractor dries I talked about uh, for the top fly and the dry fly rig as a top fly and a hopper copper dropper rig if you'd like to do that. Uh, and uh, you know you can also deep nymph, but I don't so much like uh, the big stone flies this time of year. I like smaller stone flies in a size uh, 14 to 16. Uh, more yellow Sally uh, size. One of my favorites uh, right now, which has been a true breadwinner for me all summer, is the Iron Sally. Uh, Moorish's Iron Sally is one of the best uh, stonefly patterns I've ever fished, and it really uh, does well. Um, so that can be your top fly in a nymph rig or your copper pattern in a uh, hopper copper dropper. That's a size 14 to 16. Also a great pattern is the get stone brown uh, in a 14 to 16. Uh, so that could also be your copper uh, in a hopper copper dropper or your top fly in the nymph ring. Another pattern down that alley, um, another attractor pattern is the chartreuse copper john size 16. Uh, really hard to beat, uh, you know, all year, but uh, one of our best patterns right now uh, as far as that attractor nymph goes. And then lastly, hot wire prints, gold wire, um, just a great little stone fly imitation. And uh, should should be a great uh, fly for that, that copper fly or uh, for your top uh nymph and a nymph rig. Going underneath a variety of midges and blue-winged olive uh, nymphs, uh, I like a chartreuse uh, rojo midge uh, in a size 18. Great uh, pattern. They're taking it for caddis. They're taking it for midges. Um, and then another great pattern is just what we term the Arkansas midge larva, which is just a pure midge uh, you know, with, uh, it's a little bit larger, size 18, uh, 16 to 18 in the olive color with the black head. As far as blueing the olive nymphs go, there's two breadwinners I've had in the last, uh, week or so that have been excellent. First one's the scuba nymph. This pattern just keeps coming back as one of my most productive patterns. Basically a pheasant tail tungsten bead with a nice uh, wing case uh, popped out for you, a real buggy uh, pattern. Uh, so uh, an excellent, that scuba nymph will be an excellent pattern for you as far as product productivity goes for that bluing nymph. Uh, another pattern uh, that's excellent uh, on uh, the Arkansas for a bluing nymph is going to be what's called a tungsten flash betas. This is one of Curtis Andrews' patterns. Uh, really excellent, small, kind of bluish, uh, gray, uh, real slender uh, profile and tungsten bead with a flash wing. Uh, excellent little bluing nymph. Uh, as far as structure goes on the Arkansas, really focus on pocket water, uh, but know that fish are really everywhere because they are in spawning mode or pre-spawn. Uh, there are fish in riffles, there's fish in tail outs, there's fish against the banks, and there's fish in pocket water. So really don't discount any one given structural area. Uh, focus on uh, everything and cover a lot of water. That's my only suggestion. If you want to throw a streamer, same streamers have really been uh, key right now. Kiwi muddlers, uh, uh, pseudo sculpins uh, on top, something big, tan uh, or yellow on top, 
and trailing a little micro woolly booger or a kiwi or a, a standard muddler underneath double rig run uh, your leaders about five feet max uh, two to three X uh, fluorocarbon and uh, run your second streamer about 10 to 12 inches underneath that should really cover uh, rigging techniques like I said uh, cover a lot of water um, and uh, thank you very much for watching uh, this uh, week's video report.